Dawn from Mr. Dawn Creates, and I'm I'm here still in Austin, Texas. Um, it's been a long time since I have filmed a, a yarn video or a crochet video, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, if you're interested in some of the vlogging that I've done here, you know, please feel free to take a look at it. I'm probably going to move my channel around a little bit because um, there are some other topics that I get into in my channel, so I may even open up another YouTube channel. So just FYI, I know that there's very few subscribers and not that many people watch my videos. And like I said at the beginning, I'm doing this for me anyway, but um, I don't want to confuse a lot of people. So some folks that just want to come here straight for the crochet, I might just keep this channel for that and or crafting arts, that kind of thing. Anyhow, I was um, designing my own uh, crochet cardigan. And that's what I was planning on doing while I was here. And then other things kind of got into the way of that. But I picked things back up yesterday. Right when I'm going home, right tomorrow. I, I leave. Um, today's Friday. Um, tomorrow's the 21st. So Saturday. So I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. And I cannot wait to get back home to see my granddaughter. I miss her terribly and really miss my doggies. Um, so I'm excited. One of the things that, um, so I want to talk about the crochet pattern just a little bit, um, how I, and I'll show you what it looks like, but I want to talk a little bit about the yarn that I brought and the yarn that I'm using. So this is Lion Brand Nubu, okay? And as you can see right on here, it's 100% Lyocell. Now, at a different time and place, I will probably go into a lot of depth about what is Lyocell, um, why it works for me, and a variety of things, but today I'm just going to keep narrowly focus on exactly what this yarn looks like, um, how it's reacting, and, and what I think about it, and then show you my cardi that I've started. I finished one ball. I only brought three of these with me, so more than likely um, I will have the other two balls here finished within the next uh, few hours, so I don't know what I'll be working on when on my in the plane and on the way home, but um, I run about um, well let me just go over the yarn here and read off the yarn label okay because this is this is salmon and I will say that it's a, it's a beautiful true corally salmon color it's interesting yarn because depending on how the light hits it um, it looks darker or lighter it's a shiny yarn it's a smooth silky kind of um, you know uh, uh, smooth and silky yarn the uh, it's made with a lot a lot of little tiny threads this is considered a number four which when i show it to you you'll kind of be surprised about it and i was too because true blue if you're familiar with true blue which is you know bamboo and uh, a little cotton the um uh, it's thinner and but they kind of act a lot like each other so here is the four medium weight so for those that are outside of the united states because we do everything by one, two, three, four, whatever we, but this is, um, an Aaron weight, an Aaron weight, um, um, which you'll also hear this referred to, um, what are the other things I've, well, in Hobie, I always see the XL and I always know that that's probably a thicker yarn, like a, like a, number four or even chunky but here in the United States four is you know pretty standard with what I see a lot of crocheters use um, we don't I like a thinner yarns um, this doesn't play as a four so much for me but um, it, they suggest a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook I'm using a five um, I'm surprised by the 5.5 I guess if you were doing a you know, a lacy poncho, a poncho uh, shawl or something, you wanted more drape. This tends to be a heavier yarn, or it is a heavier yarn. Uh, it's not light like a, an acrylic. Um, but it is also, so even though it's a heavier fiber, it is not warm. So, you know, you've got to think about that. Just because something's heavy doesn't mean that it's warm. This has got a cooling effect to it, which is what you hear a lot about bamboo in particular being cooling. Um, um, so, yeah, this has got, this is a three ounce ball. Excuse me, about 85 grams here, I think. Um, so 
So that 5.5 crochet hook with 4.3 millimeter knitting needles is what they suggested. Um, I'm just starting to knit, so I haven't knit, knitted anything with this, and I won't because um, this is a very splitty yarn. Um, and, you know, I would normally, I would tell you that a lot of times bamboo tends to be splitty, but I have run into some that aren't as splitty and that are easier to work with. Got a little bit of a tooth, maybe, is the best way to describe it. I think one thing that's nice is you can work on probably any kind of crochet uh, hook, um, you know, wood, plastic, aluminum. I, uh, I work on crochet, I work with clover crochet hooks, there are more hooks, and um, you'll have to forgive this one, my, my puppy at the end of, of this one, he's an expensive puppy. Um, I have to keep all of my hooks up in a way, and it's difficult because, you know, my crochet hooks are everywhere. This is a 3.75, it's not the one I'm using, I've got the one I'm using in the other room, but I'm using a five, a number five. I'm glad I am. I think this worked out well. I did use this, however, for um, setting up my foundation uh, row after my ribbing because I needed to get into those stitches a little bit uh, cleaner. And um, because this is a splitty yarn, um, it, it just needed to happen. Um, how many yards and meters? Let me let me look here. I think it was 172, 150. Okay, sorry, my bad. Didn't even remember that at all. 157, so 157 yards, 144 meters. This was made in China, which surprised me. Um, and we'll talk about that when we talk about live sewn bamboo and all that other stuff. But uh, you can see that it's made in other places. Turkey, I've seen good yarn from, from Turkey that's made. Um, out of bamboo. Um, there's quite a few colors, um, not not lots, but there is a, a, a decent palette that you can choose from. Nothing like um, if you were to go to Hobie, for instance. Hobie has a lot of good bamboo and um, a lot more expensive. This is this is going to run you, you know, about for almost five dollars a ball, about that. So it still is a pricier yarn. But um, the washing instructions on here is wash gentle and lay flat. Doesn't really tell me the temperature here, but I can tell you that be cautious with, with how you wash this. Um, I wear a lot of bamboo clothing because I have very sensitive skin, is, which is the main reason I go for bamboo and can tell you, you need to, to take very good care of that fabric. It can, has a tendency to peel on you if you wash it in a lot of hot water and drying it all the time. Um, some of the early bamboo that I bought, uh, and then will we'll also shrink. Some of the early bamboo clothing that I have, I've, I've acquired, you know, just lost its softness and it kind of would be little thingies. Um, it just, it, it didn't wear well. And so you really need to take good care of this fabric, um, this fiber. So I definitely would not put this in the dryer at all. Um, if you wash it I, and stick it or stick it in the washing machine, I definitely put it on um, gentle. I would put it in a cold wash, um, but I would also put it in a garment bag and a garment bag that doesn't have any zippers on it or you know any way that it can snag or tie or anything. Um, I suggest that with almost all wearables or almost anything that I that we crochet anyhow because. You know, you spend a lot of time and money and effort. Now, baby blankets, you know, that's a totally different story. Anything that you really need to sanitize, um, you know, when you're looking at an acrylic and cotton, that kind of, you know, we'll talk about that at a different time. I want to really focus on this. But when it comes to bamboo, whatever it is, lyocell, tinsel, um, rayon from bamboo, any of that, you really want to take good care of this fiber. It is a heavier fiber. Not necessarily warmer, but heavier. It's smooth, it's silky, it's shiny. Um, so let me show you what I ended up doing. So I run about um, a large, extra large for a sweater maybe. Uh, it depends. I, I'm, I'm a lot smaller right here in my rib cage. And then, you know, I've got a little, <laughs> a little, bit, of, a little bit bigger down here. So I kind of want to keep things a little looser here, but it just depends. I'm, I'm kind of playing with the size on this one 
but I'm also doing the back and side panels together. So let me show you what I ended up doing. I did a basic rib, the ribbing for the bottom of the Cardi um, is a single crochet back loop. Um, I wanted a long, a pretty good wide band. So this is about, what is this about? Uh, 13 stitches um, and then into the, into the next one. So this was about 12 stitches high. Um, I did use the five on this. I will say that because of how slick this yarn is, you can really easily do uh, a nice slip stitch ribbing on this. And I think I would love to do that for another, you know, like a something else maybe, or a tank top, um, a ribbed tank top for my daughter or something. It may be kind of fun, crop top even. Um, but I'm glad I did, didn't. I'm glad I stuck with the same five millimeter because I wanted something a little airier up here, airier, a little bit more, a little lacier. So I went with a real tall stitch. And, um, and so as, you know, as when you start to look at this, um, you know, you've got like, you, I want, you want to do the best you can at keeping your, your sides pretty straight. And you're already bringing this in as, you know, you're ribbing your, your, elastic -y part. So, you know, I, I didn't want this to be, to pull in too tight down here. But anyway, I, um, there you go. Um, I think it looks great. Um, I think, uh, this is what a one full ball did for me. Um, and like I said, this will, this is kind of the back and the sides. And then I'll put a nice big you know, ribbed um, front on it as well, or collar, you know, that might go around. Or, or, well, it won't, it not might, it will, Missy. It'll go all the way around your head and the front. So, yeah, I think it's turning out really well. So I think I'll jump back into that project. So there's that, okay? Um, I will, um, when I get home, I will give you my progress on this project. I haven't come up with a name or anything. I am writing a pattern for this. So, you know, um, I don't know when it'll drop, but I will let you know. Um, and I haven't really, because I haven't figured out really whether I want drop sleeves or, you know, I, I haven't quite, or if I'm sewing them on or if I'm going to do this all kind of in one, um, one piece which I think I might just because of this yarn. Um, however, uh, so then the only thing, other thing I guess to tell you is, is as happy as I am with this, um, I, this is very slitty and it can be, you know, heck on wheels for you. So um, it's definitely not anything I would pick up as a beginner or suggest a beginner do. Um, a lot of the reviews on it, people will tell you how splitty it is, and True Blue being the same way. So, you know, just keep in mind about that. I mean, it, it really, really splits. And so you have to kind of get in a rhythm in the way that you are using it. And because it's a little heavy as well, it's much heavier than a, you know, acrylic or a, even a wool or anything else. And as you're, you know, working it, you know, this is, this is kind of weighing, as, especially as this gets to be bigger. And so I think it's going to be really helpful to sit at a table for me to lie, uh, lay this down and work, work it instead of in, in my lap, because, uh, you know, I, I, I just think that, that that's going to be an easier way. So I'm just going to try to give you all the tips and tricks that I can think of working with this type of yarn. And it, it, it's going to be ongoing because I, um, you know, spring and summer are coming up and I plan on living in, in this yarn, um, a lot of this yarn. So there you go. Okay. You also, by the way, can find a lot of blends with this. So if you need something with a little bit, that's a little lighter or something that'll lighten it up or change the sheen to it, you can, you can find a lot of bamboo cotton and I've got my favorites that are out there too. And I'm right now kind of in the middle of trying this Fez, Feza, Feza yarn. That's what I'm playing with. I'm, I'm making some lace. And so I think actually I might get back to that um, as well and but I will put a totally different I think I might work on this um, a couple more rounds of that and then do a video on this particular 
uh, pattern and yarn. And then um, see when I get home, I can talk about the progress of them a little bit. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope that helps. Lion Brown Nubu, Lion Brand Nubu, 100% live so. And my cute little Coral Cardi, um, which is a cute name, but I hate naming any pattern after a color because, um, you know, you can use any color for this, not just coral, but maybe it could be a name, coral. I, I know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll wait and wear it and then see how I feel and then come up with a name for it. All right, guys, you have a good one, and I'll see you back home. Bye-bye.